my really favorite teams are the two I play on. I, I play with my good friend Norm Magnuson at the Fort Rouge Curling Club and I truly enjoy curling with him and, and our teammates there. And I play with my son Michael and some of his buddies weekly over at the Charleswood Club and I truly enjoy the privilege of playing with them and those young guys inspire me a lot to try a little harder uh, when uh, perhaps at an advanced stage you don't try quite as hard. So my favorite team is probably the one I'm playing on right now. The talent level in the province is remarkable. We, we see so much remarkable play, both in terms of the strategy and the, in terms of the ability to make those remarkable shots. That uh, It's just, it's a wonderful sport to watch. It's very important that those great curlers have the ability to hone their skills and demonstrate their skills. It's promotion for the sport of curling. The young person starting out in the sport of curling doesn't ever aspire to be an old guy playing when he's 67 or 70 years old. And yet, once they watch those elite curlers, they're drawn to the game. Eventually, those young people find their own level. Some of them will become elite curlers. Some of them will just become people who play the game. The level of competition is important, mainly in the context of the visibility and the promotion that it creates for the sport. Well, as promised, time for results from the 2017 Canola Junior Provincial Championships, an outstanding week of curling at the Pemina and St. Vitale Curling Clubs. And by week's end, it was an Assiniboine Memorial Curling Club sweep. On the men's side, JT Ryan's Assiniboine rink upset the two-time Canadian Junior Champion skip Braden Calvert and his team 7-3. Well, on the women's side, it was Laura Burtnick's team from the Assiniboine defeating Team Christy Watling 8-7 in the final. Laura is the daughter of legendary Manitoba curler Kerry Burtnick. And it was quite the afternoon for the Ryan family as not only did JT win, but his sister Haley was a third on the Burtnick team. We caught up with both skips to talk about their provincial championship victories. All right, here at the winning skip of the 2017 Manitoba Men's Junior Championship, JT Ryan, JT, a uh, junior team just defeated not only a two-time Manitoba Junior Champion, but a two-time Canadian Junior Champion uh, in Braden Calvert. What does a win like that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, they've been such a great team. Like, all those guys on the team, even though they were just put together this year, they've all been winning titles for so long. So it means a lot to not only win it, but to beat a team that's that good. It feels real good. Yeah. Now you were unbeaten in this thing until you ran into the Calvert team earlier in the playoffs and they gave it to you pretty good. Um, how did the game plan change going into this final when you knew you were going up against them again? I just think we were looser. I think last last year we lost the 1-1 uh, game and lost the semifinals. And I think we were just nervous. This morning after we won in the semis, we were just pretty loose and we were just happy to be like given the chance to. So. I don't think we really played any different. I think we were just playing better because we weren't as nervous. Uh, you know, your sister third on the on the women's winning team. First of all, that's an amazing accomplishment for the family. What is the plan for the family here tonight or in the next couple of days? What's the celebration going to look like? Well, I'll probably catch up on some sleep. It's been a couple early, early mornings and then, I don't know, celebrate. And you know, you're trying to win a very important game of your own. How often are you looking over at the sheet a couple down from you and checking that score? Is it tough to kind of stay focused on your game while that's going on? A little, yeah. I mean, it's it's more nervous watching their sheet than it is like, on my own because I have control over mine. But it uh, it probably didn't help. I was probably looking over there too many times and uh, I was should have been focused on my own. Uh, you'll have a few days, I guess, or maybe a week or so to soak this in, and then it's off to Nationals in a couple weeks, Victoria, BC. Uh, what are your initial thoughts on going to Nationals? Do you feel you guys uh, can kind of hold your own there and do pretty well? I think as long as we keep playing like the way we do, we'll be fine. I think, we, uh, I think we'll be all right there. Just got to keep playing our game. All right, JT Ryan, Manitoba Men's Junior Champion. Well, a Burtnick reigns supreme in Manitoba. We've heard that line many times before. This time, it is Laura Burtnick and her team from the Assiniboine Memorial, the 2017 Manitoba Women's Junior Champions. Laura, a shot to two to win, a shot for two to win in that tenth end. What is going through your head as that rock's going down the ice and getting closer to the house? Oh, tons. I'm just thinking, don't hit that guard. Don't hit that guard. Uh, I'm, I felt comfortable throwing it. I'd throw that spot a few times throughout the game, and I, I knew my weight and I knew the spot and the sweepers. Swept it beautifully and we made it, so it just, it's a great feeling. One year ago you were in this game, different result though, you guys were the losing team. What did you learn uh, from getting to that final one year ago that you kind of maybe used today? Uh, well, it certainly helped with the nerves for sure. I mean, we were a little used to it this time around because we've been there before, so going into it we knew what to expect. We knew it would be a tight game and I think we just played 
uh, the best we could have played and it worked out for us. The Watling team undefeated coming into this game and they beat you earlier in the playoffs. Uh, did your strategy change at all from that first game against the team, uh, against the Watling skip team? Uh, I wouldn't say so. We played them pretty much the same way as we did in round robin. We had a tight game with them in round robin. I mean, their story was the same as ours last year. They went undefeated and we did last year as well and then lost in the final. And so it, it really comes down to just the last rock. It doesn't matter who you're playing or, or who the team is. You just got to make your shots. So now all of a sudden, a couple weeks, you have to look forward to Nationals now uh, in Victoria, B.C. What are your initial thoughts on going to Nationals? Do you feel you guys can uh, hold your own and do pretty well there? Oh, absolutely. I mean, if this, this is any testament, uh, coming out of Manitoba is almost like a mini national. Sometimes there's great teams. It's a great field. So we're really excited to go, and we think we got a great shot. What's the party going to be like, the Assiniboine Memorial? Both junior champions coming from there. What's it going to be like oh, there? It's, it's going to be awesome. I mean, I can't wait to hang up a banner in the same place that my dad's got all of his. Uh, to share this with JT is just so awesome. I mean, it's my third's brother. I think she was a little more excited before our game was even over, seeing them win. And so it's so awesome. It's going to be a great time. Laura Burtnick, JT Ryan, Manitoba Junior Champions 2017. And that will do it for another episode of Hurry Hard, the Manitoba Curling Show here on Shaw TV. We want to thank the Pemina Curling Club for letting us come and host here. We want to thank all our fabulous guests as well. Our next show will come to you beginning January 27th from the Charleswood Curling Club. That is, of course, the host site of this year's Scotties. The games, of course, will be played at the Eric Coy Arena, but the Charleswood is the host club. So we will see you then. For now, you can watch full episodes of Hurry Hard on our YouTube page at Shaw TV Winnipeg. And you can check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Shaw TV Winnipeg. So we thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Hurry Hard.